Dear Master, JK asks, has love an object or is love divine or profane? You follow, sir, when you love, you are neither giving nor receiving. Acharya Ji, could you explain how can we love in daily life without giving or receiving? What is love if it has no object? All objects are small, Shireen. The object of love is so gigantic that you cannot call it an object. Further, all objects leave ample space for you to remain. All objects leave space for the dualistic subject to remain and prosper. The object of love is so big, so total, so filling, so occupying, so unrelenting. so very compelling that it leaves no space for the subject to hide and survive. Obviously if the subject is gone, who can call the object an object? So the object of love is a non-object. Those who have come before us have called that object as truth. God, beloved, Amma Baba, Father, Ma, hmm? Next you are asking how can one be in love without giving or receiving. Giving and receiving both imply your presence and your activity. You have to be there to give, you have to be there to receive and in both your presence, your being gets stamped, certified, further ascertained. In giving, you remain as the giver. In receiving, you strike roots as the receiver. So in love, there is neither giving nor receiving. Simply put, no doing of the doer. No doing of the doer is also the highest doing of the little doer. Hmm? The highest doing of the little doer. I will give an example to you. I have heard of this little soldier. He was actually a civilian. In one of the wars in the last century. He is so small, he is not even trained as a soldier. His village has been invaded. The villagers have been captured, taken away for forced labor. They were being used to construct a bridge. That's what the invading army was using the locals for. Take them away and use their labor to build a bridge. Now that the enemy has taken them away, they are with the enemy. And this little one could see a big 
ammunition depot hmm? big ammunition depot you are already guessing it right there was not much he could have done all by himself the enemy numbered in hundreds hundreds of well built grown up trained soldiers with firearms what could the boy have done but there is one thing that the boy could do with a little bit of ingenious engineering he rammed himself into the depot and blew the entire depot off obviously nothing of him remained but he took down the entire nonsense with him so shirin that's love attempting the impossible the task is so damn big that it can't be done if you protect yourself if you protect yourself it won't happen that's love excuse me for giving a violent analogy but yes yeah, a lot of bloodshed is indeed involved in love love does involve a lot of demolition and there are fireworks and things come down great structures collapse formidable enemies have to be defeated all that is love you want something beyond your size you want something beyond your measure and it will require all of you to get that if you care for your safety if you care for your survival it just can't happen that's love 